Kadri is there of uh, Cyprus. But Henrik Ingebrigtsen, we've already seen his brother go through. Here we go, three and three quarter laps of the track. Now the usual charge, and we'll see who uh, wants to do the business. And uh, Kadri looking to take uh, a little bit of early control of the race, but uh, not to. Cavallo is there. He's taking it on, and uh, Atez and Whiteman running wide on the outside. Just behind uh, Kadiri now, and, uh, the Italian just uh, dropping in behind him. Have a look at the time for the first. It looks a bit quicker, this. This is certainly quicker. And uh, the tenor of the race has been uh, established quite early by Atez. And who is the Turk? It's the Balkan indoor champion, actually. And, uh, being chased now by the Frenchman. Four seconds faster than either of the first two heats. Artis has done a job not just for himself, but I reckon about 11 men behind him too. Well, Jake Whiteman in a good position at the moment. And uh, let's hope he can uh, manage the third lap. The third lap, very, very important in this event. And, uh, but it is much quicker and the fastest losers, I would suggest will be coming from this uh, heat, I would think so. And uh, three fastest losers. It's tough uh, qualification, this, but it's slowed down a little bit at the moment. But no change with uh, just a couple of laps to go. And coming up, uh, Kimeli of Belgium, the 2015 European under-23 silver medalist at 5,000 metres, now moving uh, up into what? Uh, fifth place as they go down into the back straight once again. It certainly is quicker. It slowed a little while there, and all of a sudden it's now speeded up. Cavallo will want a little bit more on this. And Inga Britson, just looking for Inga Britson in this uh, lineup, he will surely uh, come through and take uh, his place. I can see him now moving up from the back of the field. He's now in fifth place. He's now in fourth place. Now in third, and we've got a. I thought we had a faller there. No, we did have a faller. There were two fallers. The Italian went down. That's uh, Bussotti Nerve. And uh, he's way, way out of it now. But in the, the race proper, Cavallo's still there. Whiteman's still there. Ingebrigtsen taking close order. Kimeli is there as well. Now, Ingebrigtsen now starting to take on the race itself. And also coming through is Sasinek of the Czech Republic. He's moving right through into third place now. And that... Uh, Race now really on, and Inga Britson moves smoothly right through to the second place, and he will surely attack soon, as uh, will Sasinek on the left of your shot now, and Jake Whiteman mustn't get trapped in, and I think uh, he's in fourth place now, but uh, there are three past him, and Cavaliero and uh, Sasinek, these two, and Inga Britson has got some work to do, and as surely he'll do it as they come into the home straight. Cavallo has been in that position. Whiteman's now in fourth and moves out wide and starts to make his attack. Cavallo, Sasnick, and here comes Whiteman on the near side, and Jake Whiteman's going to win this one. He's going to win it well. I think Britson gets second. Cavallo gets third, 3.39.34. Well done, young man. And that was a very well-devised uh, race. 3.39.32, don't worry about the time, it was, uh, it was much quicker early on. But a British win in that uh, third heat of the semi-final round. That was quite impressive, he, he ran that very well, didn't he? I think that was very mature indeed, he left his bid for victory until right towards the end, he let a lot of other people do the work, he made sure he had eyes on everything that was going on around him. And then when he delivered his kick, he beat men many more experienced than he is. And that the fastest of the heats. And I reckon, well, all those first five will go through to the final. It's going to be quite tight. It means Tom Lancashire, he's definitely missed out. A couple of problems perhaps for the Belgian Peter Callahan. 
who finished second in that first heat. David Bustos will be watching very keenly to see if his time in second or, should I say, in uh, fifth place in that uh, first heat has been good enough. But there's no doubt that the Briton there, Jake Whiteman, that was an outstanding run. Make a note of the name. And we're talking really about a title that's uh, there for the taking. One of the blue ribbon events of any championship. The metric mile, and we've got a Britain who's won a heat. Great stuff.